So I uh, rolled up a bunch of characters here and starting with August Rimmer here who is a navy line Sila Valtaro who is a scout courier Zoltan Krebs who is a agent a very interesting past Israin Havit, who is a noble diplomat. And then we have our blank, which we will prepare now. I've already made a number of characters uh, for this game. So I'm working on the last character. And I'm going to run you through how a character is basically made in Traveler 2nd Edition. Starting off, um, your character has the basics as we have stated here on the sheet. Strength, Dexterity. Endurance, Intelligence, Education, and Social, getting dyslexic here, Social uh, Class, or Social Standing. So <clears throat> these three make up the uh, physicality of your character. Uh, these are a combined the hit points of the character so just keep that in mind when you're rolling um, how strong or how weak your character is going to be these will change through your life path so uh, for now it's 2d6 no modifications or anything just uh, roll away so for strength strength is going to be 10 Starts off pretty strong. Dexterity is five. Okay. The endurance is a five. So <laughs> we thought we were going to have a super strong character, and we have some negatives already. It's all good. Five for intelligence. Wow. This is going to be one crazy ass character. So another five. And the social is a nine. Wow. Alrighty. We have an inbred aristocrat. <laughs> With big muscles and nothing else. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, this is going to be an interesting character. And, and you take what you get, because this is going to make an interesting character, no matter what. Um, so. <laughs> oh, background skill. So, we got uh, education. So, education, I don't have... So, I only get two skills on there. Uh, because I have a minus one on my education is plus three so uh, two background skills and that's on page eight doo, doo, doo. Where are we oh we're going the other way page eight background skills so what will we choose well going to this over here in the small corner Hmm. Take a drink of that. Ginger ale. <clears> hmm. <throat> well, 
Let's see. Truly the brainiac here. We will use, uh, well, since he's got the social, may as well give him crows. Of zero. And uh, blah, 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 blah. what else? Um, and we'll go, well, what, why not? Well, let's go flyer. Or no, athletics? Okay, uh, yeah, athletics. Of zero. So, the zero means that you're not going to get a negative if you try to do something. Um, if you are unskilled, like say you don't have a zero in carouse, but you try to carouse as a skill on somebody, you're going to get a minus three. So, and if you already have a minus on the, uh, on depending on what aspect you're carousing with, like say you're trying to dazzle them with your uh, education, or you're trying to dazzle them with your social standing, uh, you're going to get two different outcomes because your social standing is going to have a plus one uh, against a minus three. So you end up with a, only a minus two. Uh, education would be a minus one. So your crowds would be a minus three, minus one, minus four in total for your uh, for your roll. So as a zero, it means you don't get any uh, penalty or bonus. You just uh, roll the die with that, plus whatever bonus. This one would be just the minus one as a carouse and this would be a plus one with the carouse skill fairly simple alrighty that's the start home world um, I do have a uh, sub sector oh, no. sub sector which will have all the uh, um, the areas like the worlds that I want related to this character I will figure that out later uh, no biggie right now so <clears throat> so the next part we uh, go ahead and choose a uh, career that we want to get into and I mean, we could do the university thing, or we can go through military academy. But I just want to get right into the uh, nitty gritty of this game here and uh, pick something from the uh, summary table here, which might work for them. And we kind of look at the qualifications here on each uh, intelligence. Uh, six or higher for agent and then because uh, you can't see it because of the 28 millimeter up here <laughs> so I, I guess I could drag down the book so you can see um, but um, as far as anything so my social is nine so that's not going to make it there for uh, being a noble Let's see. Everything else is you. I mean, I could go merchant. That might not be a bad idea. Merchant free trader. That might be something to look at. So as a merchant free trader, we'll look at the survival. Ooh. Let's see. It's all fairly harsh either way. So, um, despite having the dexterity uh, not up to par, that'll work. The intelligence not up to par. But, uh, like I say, your character will change over the um, span of each, uh, of each term for your term. So, 
We are going to go try with the merchants here first. So with an intelligence of four or higher, that'll make it in there. So let us do that. So through each. I do like the layout of each page. Like you have the whole thing written out for the entire character. Um, everything that you need to know about uh, the army, the citizen character, the drifter character, the entertainer character, the marine character, the merchant character, which is what we're going to use, the navy character, and the noble character, the rogue, the scholar, the scout. And then, of course, the page with all the life events which uh, and stuff, which will come into play as we roll stuff. So let's start off with merchants. Okay, so qualification is intelligence as the bonus for or higher. And blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's just do it. So... We rolled a six, no bonus, so we're good. We're st uh, we get into the merchants, so merchants. This is number one, so that's our term. So we have to choose which uh, part of the uh, merchants we want to be. Uh, merchant marine free trader or broker so looking at this broker is probably broker or merchant marine is going to work in our favor more than free trader right away so we will go for which one here merchant marine or free trader free trader uh gives you that broker gives you these and the merchant marine gives you these and then you've got personal development which is always will probably be the one that i'm going to be rolling on first in order to get things up and uh and happening so um So first off, you will get free for your first um, for your first turn. You get trained in all these service skills, and I'll just reiterate just in case. Look over here. <clears throat> so choose career, and we go through the basic training. And of course, I will show you here. Where... Basic training is on page 16, just so you know where it is. Basic training for your first career only. You get all the skills listed in the service skills at level zero. So you know that. All right, so you don't skip out on that. So. Service skills will be drive at zero. Back suit zero. Broker zero. Stewart at zero. Electronics, zero, and Persuade, at zero. So, a good collection of skills to start you off with, although at zero, which is fine, you know, you can, you can, you can actually succeed in roles 
if your <laughs> if your abilities help your attributes help now we roll for survival and of course we are going for merchant marine So, Merchant Marine, we are a crewman. That's our, uh, our rank right now at zero. So we roll for survival. So Merchant Marine, education, five plus. So I need a five or higher. I don't get any bonus. I get a minus one, I believe. Education is five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, minus one. So hopefully I make it. I do survive. Now I roll for the advancement. Now this will give me an extra skill if I make it. Intelligence. So I need a seven or higher. I got a minus one because it's on intelligence. And I make it advance. So with that, I do get an extra skill and I become a senior crewman uh, rank. Senior crewman. So I get two rolls. Otherwise, if I didn't make my advancement, I would only get one roll. So, so my two rolls, I will take a roll on personal, personal development table with one die. And I get a six, which gives me streetwise of one. Awesome. That's cool. I will roll once more on this chart. Give me, hopefully, uh, another uh, advancement, hopefully on something more uh, tangible. So a two means my dexterity becomes six. There we go. Bonus, we are at a, okay, so I'm gonna go with a 10 here is a six, nine, so it's plus one. Right, yeah. Uh, six is a plus zero. Five is a minus one, minus one, minus one, and a plus one. Just so that you know, I got a plus one here, plus one here, and a zero there. <laughs> Just so that I, you know, key on where my where my attributes are. Hopefully you can see that. And I hope that this, uh, uh, you can see the details of what I'm doing here. So that was my first term. So that took out four years of my life. Let's find out what happened to me in this uh, adventure of four years. So we roll on the events table. So I rolled a seven. Life event roll on the life events table. So the life events table is at the end over here on this page here. We'll roll on that one. A little easier to see this page than the other one on the camera. And I roll a nine. Travel. You move to another world. You gain a plus two die modifier on your qualification roll. Cool. My next qualification roll. So move to new world. New world. That was my event, no, most notable event at on this term. Sometimes really bad things can happen. Sometimes really good things can happen. That was kind of just an average. I mean, we could we could build on that as a story, you know, with the uh, with the character. 
background story. So with that one done, we go to our next. So we have a plus two on our qualification here uh, to re-enlist. So because I'm not going to be like going through, like going, changing my, uh, because I won't be changing my, um, kind of get that in, in the camera here, because I'm not going to be changing up my career or anything, I will stay within the merchants. So I don't have to roll a qualification for my second, second term. I just continue on. So second term merchants. And the Merchant Marine again, or should I go, since I go, I'm going to go Free Trader this time. Free Trader. Now, I need to do a 6 or higher for a roll, and I don't have any minus now. So I find this one's going to be safer. So as a Free Trader... I roll six or higher, so no minuses, six or higher, and I make it. So survival is a do. Advancement, I need a six or higher, intelligence minus one. So my minus one, I need a six or higher. Eight, seven, I do it. I make my advancement. I become... Become first rank one. Because we're going with a totally different uh, area here. I get a persuade of one. Persuade. Oh, I already have it listed here, so let's just erase that one. Oh, I gotta use a better eraser here. This one cleans up a little better. Yuck. I hate using the erasers on the back of this. I shouldn't. One. I remember going from a zero uh, up a rank doesn't make it two, it makes it just one. So so I am proficient at it. I get a bonus of plus one. Um, next, I get two skills because I made both um, my, my advancement as well. So I'm going to go for an actual free trader skill. Of which I get one, which is pilot spacecraft. One. I'm also going to go for personal development as well. Of which I roll a two. My dex increases... Find a better eraser here. Do 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 do. Oh, 
my dexterity becomes seven. This is why it's always good to go ahead and write everything down on a scrap piece of paper. Because everything is going to be changing on this character as it goes through its life choices. And that is that for that character. Now we decide on rolling on our event table. Which is a five. You have a chance to risk your fortune on possibly a lucrative deal. You may gamble a number of benefit rolls and roll gambler eight or higher or broker eight or higher. If you succeed, you gain half as many benefit rolls as you risk rounding up. If you fail, you lose uh, either way. Uh, you gain one level in whichever skill you used. Okay, we are going to risk one so we at least get one uh, benefit so let's do that we have a broker of zero uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use that so we need an eight or higher um, and we don't have anything to uh, drive up the benefit of it <laughs> Broker, broker check. Um, using intelligence or using social for uh, finding a buyer. So I suspect we can utilize that plus one here for our roll because zero, which means we don't have a minus three. Plus one for our social. And we make it. We just make it. So we get a bonus uh, benefit. So, um, lucrative deal, success. And uh, do, 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 plus one benefit. And we also increase our broker skill to one. Really good start for this character, even at uh, second term which means he is uh, 24 years of age <clears throat> right let's see he's 18 90 20 1 22 3 4 4 5 foot 6 he's 26 years of age uh math not, <laughs> not <my> strong point <laughs> uh at least today it's late Alrighty, so let's go for our third term so let's go Third term, merchants. Free trader. And we got a roll. Survival and an advancement. Advancement roll. So, once again, uh, dexterity. So we have we need to do a six or higher. We got no bonuses because we're at a seven. Oop. And that was a six. And we just make it. The advance. Advancement. Six or higher. And we get a minus one. And we make it with a nine eight. So we do that successfully, so we become rank two. 
So with two successful rolls, we will roll them both on, um, no, I will roll. Yeah, free trader. Start with one roll there. And we got a five, which means our streetwise becomes two. So that's been helping us with the broker incident and stuff like that, where we are advancing in skills on that kind of aspect. And I will roll once again on our free trader uh, skills again. And I get a two, which is vac suit. So our vacuum suit is now at one, which is handy. It will take me long to get into my vacuum suit in an emergency. Nice to have. Now, choice. Because we are now at uh, 30 years of age. So that was 26, and this was 22. So at 30 years of age, we have to really consider about the next option because then we start losing points. And I don't really want to do that. So I think this might be the end of this character as far as his life path. And further on in this aspect, it's going to be the uh, um, going through the game. So let's roll for the event. Final event here. Hopefully it's something cool. You're given advanced training in a specialist field. Roll education eight plus to increase one skill you already have by one level. Wow, okay. So eight or higher. My education is a minus one. So I need a nine or higher on the die rolls. Let's do this. And new. No. So, uh, failed specialist training. So, <clears throat> this character is going to go. Um, and, uh, be retired from service from right now. So, it will muster out. So, he gets one, two, three, uh, four, five, five rolls. So, we count the rank. We count how many uh, terms, and then we got the bonus plus one benefit here. So that uh, that helps. So I believe it's one one and two is a plus one on benefits table. Benefits table so in the back. So so bonus highest rank. Two, so you get a one so yeah there we go so yeah I was only one so yeah it is five rolls so. decide on where they're gonna go so we'll do one roll on the cash table cash table is three so I get 10,000 credits. <clears throat> Benefit. I'll roll for that. Get two, which is intelligence plus one. So I am no longer at a negative here. Pick up six. So far, so good. Things are looking up for my character. Well, the second roll. Third roll. I will roll 
once again on the cash table. This time I get a four, which is 20,000 credits. My fourth roll, I will roll on benefits again. One, we get a blade. See one more roll. Um, I'm gonna go on benefits table again. Let's hope for something good this time. Number two plus one intelligence. So we have reached. Whoop! It's the wrong racer. We are at a seven. So, that's what my character looks like. <clears throat> now, this will be the final character in that group of uh, characters that I have uh, created on the uh, screen that you've seen. And with that, I will continue on with utilizing the solo rules of uh, connecting the players. Because in here, we have some really good rules, which I like to mix in on having your players integrated with each other. So with a PC relations uh, table, as described here. So this will make some very interesting um, things that will go on. I will roll these separately off screen and with all these characters involved to we'll find out how they um, how they relate to each other. Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in to this one. Now you know how to roll up a character in Traveler and you can see how I got to this point with, uh, with all the characters that are seen on the screen. So thanks for showing up, and we'll talk to you soon.